YouTube and Minecrafters! This is the Blackwell Panda and today I bring you my very first Minecraft tutorial video. Today I am going to show you how to build a Japanese themed house. Now this house is 11 blocks wide and we're gonna get started here. Uh, first you wanna place your first block. This will be the front left corner of the house and from there we count out this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And there's the front right corner. Now we want to do the same thing 11 blocks back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And everything should line up perfect. Now we'll go ahead and work on the front of the house. What you want to do is grab your wool and you want three pieces of wool. One, two, three. Head over to the other post and one, two, three. And now you want to do four pieces of wool from this post. One, two, three, four. And then from this one, one, two, three, four. And just do the same thing on the other two sides. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, go ahead and grab your wooden logs. We want one, two, three three wooden logs there and just go ahead and fill in these spaces one there one there and one there now we want to build up our supports three blocks tall so one two three just like that and now I want to repeat that on the rest of them one two three and actually skip this middle one that's where the door is going to be one two three and you can go ahead and connect those two right at the top there and now just build the rest of the supports up one two three blocks Okay, now that that's done, go ahead and grab your white wool and connect the tops of all the supports with your wool just like that, all the way around. Okay, now that that is done, uh, we are going to start working on the floor. So, Japanese houses, from what I've seen anyway, um, have a little room right in front where you take off your shoes so we're going to make that using wooden slabs uh, just three blocks and three blocks just like that and go ahead and surround that with wooden planks there we go and you want to take the wooden planks and go all the way over to the wall and make it too wide all the way to the other wall and this sort of makes a little wooden walkway uh, an open hallway of sorts Alright, now you want to take your red wool, yes I'm using too many items, this is a tutorial video after all, and just fill in these little squares. Just because I think it kind of looks pretty nice. Alright, now we are going to build the area for the bedroom. So you want to take the wooden planks and go all the way back from, oop, misplaced block. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, all the way back from that middle support and connect it to this middle support on the right side of the house and this area here is going to be the bedroom uh, what we want to do is just take the wooden slabs and place three there stick a log here and we're gonna stick a torch on top of that log for some bedroom lighting and now you want to do another row of wooden slabs and go this way put one there and just stick one way over in the corner uh, now you want a wooden stair and just look down at the ground uh, facing the other side of the house jump up and place it under you and that makes a headboard alright and now let's see we don't want a pickaxe we need a shovel um, here we go and we want to get rid of this dirt here and replace it with wooden planks alright let's go ahead and put the bed down and you want to stick it right there you always want the bed one block away from the wall, especially if the wall is one block wide, uh, otherwise you will get monsters spawning in here. To use the bed, just stand over here in this space and right click. Uh, you do need to stand in that space to use it. Some sort of glitch with the wooden slabs prevents you from actually getting in the bed from standing on the wooden slab. So, <clears throat> let's work on the walls. We want to take some white wool and bring it all the way back. Grab some more here. To there. And do the same for this wall actually don't put one there want to stick dirt there and that's gonna be a little planner for a bonsai tree next 
take the wool across from the top and connect the top to the bottom and go ahead and put some fences in there and the fences act as a little window for the bedroom uh, run the wool across the top here connect the sides and we can go ahead and put a sapling right there and look we've got an awesome looking bonsai tree how cool is that next thing we want to do is go ahead and get the walls in and to do that we're just going to use fences because I think it looks pretty Asian which I think is pretty cool and you will not get hurt by mobs through these fences skeletons cannot shoot through them zombies cannot punch through them uh, creepers should not be able to sense you through them and I don't believe any mob can see through them either I could be wrong though um, <clears throat> so just go ahead and place the fences through all these little holes in the wall just like that and we'll go ahead and do the bedroom alright <clears throat> and now let's get the last bit of floor done here for this we are going to use black wool I think it looks pretty good looks like a neat little black carpet <clears throat> all right and that is that so we are just going to grab a door here and stick it on the front you want to place your door from the outside so skeletons can't shoot in at you you do want to put a piece of wool right there and we're gonna put the other door right there have a little door into the bedroom get a little bit of privacy uh, a little bit <laughs> not a whole lot but hey this is minecraft if you're playing on single player you got all the privacy you need right so we're gonna put some wooden stairs right there the second block in on the black wool and then you wanna just look at the wall here or the fence and place another one and once more <clears throat> and this will give us access up to the ceiling here and we wanna place some more wooden logs up here to form the ceiling so what you want to what you're going to want to do is just go all the way around and completely fill in uh the upper area here to create your ceiling. Uh this will also become your attic floor. Um uh, this build does have an attic, which is pretty cool. It gives you a lot more storage space, a lot more uh space if you wanted to build another room, whatever you want to do with it. That is completely up to you. Uh, this is really just a guideline. You don't have to follow this exactly, obviously. Uh, you can do whatever you want, build it however you want. Uh, you do want to be careful over here, though, and not build over top of this staircase because you will hit your head when you're going up it, and that's not cool. Okay, once you have that done, you're going to want to grab one more wooden stair and just stick it right there so you can walk all the way up. And now we have access to the attic area, which isn't quite an attic yet because it doesn't have a roof, but we will get to that. Alright, so next thing you're going to want to do is just look up at the top of the house here and just place your wooden stairs all the way around here. And you want to put, let's see, a wooden slab in the corners, right there. And you just want to go all the way around the house without misplacing blocks like I did. Well, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. Alright, <clears throat> once you've got that done, you're going to want to head back upstairs, and we will start working on the second row. And now this will go up diagonally from all directions. What you want to do is place a wooden slab on the corner, just like that, and then start placing your wooden stairs, just like you did on the first row, and every time you hit the corner, put a wooden slab, just like you did on the first row.
Okay, now we've got the second row done. For the third row, you're going to want to take some sort of block. I'm just going to use a wooden log. Place it there so that you can put your wooden stair on. And again, in the corners, you just want wooden slabs. Make sure that you do skip the corners because it looks terrible having a wooden stair in the corner because you have the side of one stair up against the back of the other. It just does not look good. So make sure you put the wooden slabs in the corners. Okay, and you just keep repeating that until you reach the top. All right, and for this last block, I like to put in some wooden planks. Now for the top piece here, uh, we want to put in two fences, two fence posts, one right on top of the other. And then you want to grab your wooden logs and just stick them on each side of the fence post all the way around. And go ahead and put one fence post on top of each log and you can go ahead and get rid of the logs you don't have to use logs you can use dirt you can use wool you can use sand whatever you want to use I just happen to be using logs and now we've got this cool little decoration on the roof and I would go ahead and stick some torches on it just to light up the roof um, it look I think it looks a little bit better with torches on each fence post so we're gonna go ahead and do that and there we go that looks good all right, so gonna want to head off the roof here. Um, I would recommend building a little stair up to it if you're not playing on peaceful, uh, unless you've got some food on you. Go ahead and put a step out in front here, so that you can just walk right up. And we will head up into the attic and clean up those blocks. Those blocks that we placed earlier for the.